What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It is five o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to be a concrete truck driver and uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I do. But uh, today is my last day and on something else. I have another job lined up. So, <clears throat> you know, I've been doing this for three years. You know, I love it. I like I like working in concrete. I like working in the business and stuff. It's fun. It's, it's always cool to learn new things and stuff. I'm gonna show you guys what we do. Yeah, so stick with me. So we're gonna be heading to the yard right now. And, but I'm about to stop at Starbucks cause I need a coffee cause man, I'm tired. Had to get the coffee guys, freaking sleeping. But we're gonna get this coffee, head to the shop. Catching a ride with the homie. He's got the red seats in here. And then we about to head to the to the freaking yard. So I'll see y'all there at the yard. Alrighty guys. Hope you guys can hear me pretty good. But we are doing a pre-trip right now. Making sure all my lights are good. All the lights are good. Checking the tires. Making sure the tires are not flat. I have air in them. I already checked my PSI yesterday. The truck was already loaded. Really just double checking the lights and shit. Really just double checking the lights and making sure everything is working and ordered. Nothing's on the side of the truck. No sand and gravel. If you can get a ticket if there's any material on the on the side of your truck. Uh, you know, just a regular feature again to if y'all do get into this type of work, y'all will uh, learn it very quickly. All my lights are good. The side lights, all the fire lights. Nothing's leaking. You want to make sure nothing's leaking. I already checked everything before I did this video. I just I'm showing y'all around the truck. And this is my truck right now. When I drive and I cleaned it up really good yesterday though. The windows are all clean. I got some interior detail cleaning and stuff. I got the wood grain trim on the dash, yes sir. But uh yeah, so our windows are nice and clean. But as you could tell, you wanna make sure some things are off and on. So usually so right now our my truck is already loaded, it has gravel, it has sand, and it has concrete in the truck. And I'm basically going to turn everything on. So my PTO is a, it's like a, a button for my computer to turn on and stuff. So I had my computer on yesterday because I was copying some files off the mix design and stuff like that. But you want to turn those off, computer off, PTO off. Um, so I am loaded. So I'm going to put my beacon light on because I, I have a loaded truck. And what that does, it turns on the, the flashers in the back uh, make sure you're ready so my truck it does have depth I do need to fill it up soon probably fill some up later I'll probably fill some up right now before I leave it's a simple pre trip so all you got to do is make sure your truck is good you know uh, and you want to record it guys so you know other companies are different stuff like that so this company they use a application so we do everything on the app some companies they have you write it down. Some companies you don't even have to do it. I know I used to be a bus driver, and uh, the maintenance people would do pre trips, and we'll just basically uh, sign off on them. So, you know, you know when when you guys have a CDL, you want to make sure your truck is uh everything's gonna fall on you. So you need to make sure that your truck is in safe and operating order to hold your license because I mean obviously you can get pulled over, and you can get a ticket for this for this type of stuff so you want to make sure everything is good your tires are good you're safely driving and another thing is in this type of work you want to make sure your truck is not too overloaded or overloaded that's one of those things you need to worry about and stuff to you know don't overload your trucks if you don't want to get a ticket because once you get a ticket you know you got to figure it out you got to make sure you're good tire attorney and stuff like that or you know, go to court and talk to the to the judge and stuff. 
I don't know. That's a whole different topic, guys. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys what we're doing. So right now, I am about to head out. Guys, at this company, we pour concrete balconies and hallways. And um, we have our own guys. We have our own pump. And we basically go to the job site and get the job done and come back and reload and get it ready for the next day. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, there is a little stuff in between, but I don't want to get into detail with that. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. It's pretty simple here. Today, I'm just going to be doing one, so it's not going to be too bad. But the drive is pretty far. It's about an hour and 20 minutes away. So I'm not going to record none of that footage, obviously, because uh, I don't want to be recording and trying to hold a phone in my hand the whole time. Um, I should have got a freaking GoPro or a head strap or something to mount uh, a camera on my, you know what I mean? It'd be a lot more better, but I don't have that. But I just want to see what I could do, maybe get a video out for you guys on what I do. This is my last day again. So uh, I will be going to a different company. It might be a lot more different at the other company. It's another concrete company, but you know, I've been here for three years. I really like the job. It's cool. You know, it's just sometimes you need to. Sometimes you see a better opportunity and you want to take it. So uh, just the way how life goes, guys. Whenever you have a CDL and just and work in general on anything. I mean, obviously you want to, you know, build your way up to the top or or get uh, something better and find something better and stuff like that. So I'll get back to you guys in the next clip when I'm at the job site. So stay tuned for that. Peace. All right, you guys are pulling in the job site. And I'm looking for, I'm going to look for the crew and see where they're at. And also while I'm driving around, looking for a freaking washout box. But if not, we can uh, wash out ourselves at a spot. Hey guys it's basically simple so we basically pull up to the job sites and then we pour concrete in a pump and if the pump pushes it up to the balconies and hallways or whatever we're doing um, sometimes we do also like rarely ever look there's a pump right there we rarely ever do like like uh, like utility work or something like like uh, like driveways or like um, like trenches and stuff like that we don't we don't we rarely do that i think when i first started here three years ago or three and a half years already almost i don't know it was, it was when i first started the first year and we did uh we did a lot of uh we did some we did some jobs like that and now we don't do those jobs so i don't know if it's because we just got we do have a lot of work with we got a lot of work with uh apartments and shit but yeah so i'm gonna get set up and get set up here and uh, get back with y'all right now all right so i got my helmet on put my helmet on real quick pto on computer on got my remote this is the remote to control and then i gotta get my vest and i need to get i need to grease my truck up so i'm gonna get it ready and uh grease it up all right so i already greased my truck these points right here are very uh crucial every day we, we got to grease our trucks every day because there's a bearing down there we got to keep it lubricated and stuff anyways so i'm putting uh, water in here just to shoot out whatever is left over i don't know what fell but i mean sometimes it's rock and sand fall down while you're driving and, and getting blown in the circle or whatever but in the in the bucket i mean i'm gonna shoot it out right here fuck it Put this up real quick. There's a freaking porta potty right there for us to take a shit. And uh, there's Joel with his big truck, Freightliner, Big Daddy. And let's see what we can do here. Let's see if Joel can get a clip of uh, everything running. Yeah, he's me he's measuring on. If I'm good enough to pour right there. Moving the auger. All right, I'm good. Put in neutral, pop it. Turn on and off my computer because sometimes it freezes. Just giving them that cement powder so I get a pre-mix. And uh, got my remote ready. 
And then the only thing now, we gotta ask them if they need any accelerant or any chemicals. We use accelerant at 20, accelerant speeds up the process. And the other one, 20, is uh, slows down the process so when it's really hot. I think it's good, but then it happens sometimes if the pump plugs up and it, and it, uh, it makes more time because we gotta open up the pipes, the hoses and stuff like that and clear it out. But hopefully everything goes smooth. And um, yeah, so stay tuned. We we'll get it. So, just got done. I'm about to wash out. This is all dirty. I gotta wash my face. I'm gonna wash out, uh, wash out, and I'm gonna put my wash out bag right here on the side. I already have a spot right here that I'm gonna put the bag at and try to wash out in. So, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get it started. So, I'll probably park it as close as I can to that curb. Yeah, I'll probably get as close as I can, just kind of hug it. Man, I just got this dirty, I gotta clean it. It's been muddy late. Yesterday it was muddy, it was raining all hard. Made the roads all wet, made the mud all dirty and greasy and grimy and all types of. And I had just cleaned the truck too. Okay. Basically washing out now. I know I gotta chip my truck when I get to the yard. Cause uh, I probably got a, a month of build up. Hopefully the bag is going to catch it off. I don't know if it is or not. But it just kind of sucks using these bags. Because you got to get it like leveled. Look at that. You see what I'm talking about? So it's kind of annoying. I'm not trying to make a mess. So basically shooting up all the leftover concrete. That's built up on the walls. Like not yeah, I finished this up. Right, that's about it, guys. I'm gonna just clean up my truck, wash it up a little bit, wash the floor, kind of make sure there's no crazy build up. Uh, and that's about it, to be honest. Oh, also, I'm gonna copy the settings on this truck, uh, on the calibrations, because everything is good, so. I'll show you guys how to do that but that's not necessary guys uh i'm just i'm just doing that just to these trucks are pretty cool the pro trucks 
they're pretty cool because uh, you can uh, you can copy up to seven file di different mix designs and put them in your computer and load them up anytime. So I think that's pretty cool. That design is uh, what specifically for like what the company's worksheet is. They need a uh, they need 5,000 psi on the concrete, which is the strength, or if they need a uh, a certain, uh, a certain amount of uh, pea gravel inside the, the yardage at, at every yard along with the sand uh, it's in there too it's, it's in their worksheet that they have so. yeah but I think this company only has one worksheet because it's just one uh, concrete mix so it's a little easier than other companies I know other companies they do like two or three different mix designs but maybe four I don't know depending on what they have <coughs> But yeah, I'm gonna copy that file and get the USB, <coughs> store it, just in case, you never know. And that's it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna copy uh, this mix design, put it in the USB. And what I do is I basically plug it in. USBs in, I'm going to be clicking copy calibration file, file copy successful, copy the gate cal, gate file, my bad, and then copy the mix file, which is the concrete. So those three are the main important ones, mix file, gate, and calibration, calibration file, gate file, mix file, mixture setup, and mix, save mixture setup. And then I'm gonna click eject because I'm ejected. And everything should be already saved in this now. And another thing you can always delete all your files and then re put everything back in. But this truck is good. So I'm gonna reset my stuff. I didn't pour 7.25, I had a reset at like one and a half, so I almost did 10 yards. It's about 9.8. But I had to reset the yardage because I had to change one of the settings for the ad mixes to come out. But yeah, guys, that's that's the, all that all that is like extra. You don't. That's not what I do every day. I just basically pour concrete. That's it. Go to the job site, pour, get it done. If they need more concrete, I go back and uh, come back to the job site and give them whatever they need. But here, I think they should be finished. But I'm about to leave right now, guys. But yeah, so let's see. I don't think they're going to need any more. Usually, they're pretty good at uh, knowing exactly how much they need. So Joel, he's washing out. He's finished. Joel's already finished, so the job site's already done. So I'm probably gonna head back and take off my freaking stuff. Hey, okay, so y'all finished? Yeah, hey bro, I was pouring and uh, went back into the seventh side. Bro? Yeah, I was having trouble though. I was pouring and it was coming out super dry. All right, guys, Autobots, let's roll out. We're finna head out back to the yard and uh, reload up for the next day. Have the truck ready. And I'ma chip my truck, get everything clean, and then that's it. It's already like 12, 20 right now. By the time I get to the yard, it'll be almost like, it's like, like an hour and a hour and a half, hour 20. So about almost two o'clock, so. Head out, see, <coughs> see y'all at the yard. Already pulling back at the yard. I'm uh basically uh, chip my truck real quick and load up and then take off. That's it. But uh, I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of the chipping and all that. So.
And we'll probably use our hammer because we need to hammer some things. So she's parked, loaded, ready to go for the next day. And uh, I gotta say my goodbyes. It was nice driving you international. It was fun while it lasted. But I'm to a Wayne Star truck and a different company, so it was fun. But yeah, that's it guys for the video. Alrighty guys, that's it for the video. I'm already gonna head home. It's already about five o'clock already. And by the time we get over there, it's gonna be about 556 so yeah guys like comment and subscribe if you thought this video was pretty cool stay tuned for more I mean like to act it's just my action it's a fast life no no you won't see me in a red light I'm gonna make a bag right by the day